Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today we are going to stuff $140 into a little bit of sinking funds and a little bit into my son's school binder <clears throat> and then we're going to break down and get around to finally stuffing my son's senior binder section and then I'm going to work on a new savings challenge. If you're new here, my name is Rosa. My channel is all about my personal budgeting journey. It is about cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges. It's also a little bit about our debt-free journey and our investing. If any of that is of interest to you, please take a second, push subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little bit more of your time with me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And everyone, please take a second, smash that thumbs up button. All right. So between my hus my check and my husband's check, there really isn't anything that's not budgeted for. We live on a zero-based budget and <coughs> excuse me, and it's all accounted for and stuffed wherever it needs to go. Then once a month, we when we pay our car insurance, we also pay for car insurance for my daughter's car. She in then turn pays us back car insurance money and that's what this is this would have gone into some of these different things and this is just a way for me to stop take that money and allocate it where it needs to go so this is going to go really fast and the reason is we are on a debt-free journey that debt-free journey takes us <clears throat> we take a lot of what we make and put it towards our debt um so we're actually going to add eighty dollars to here, which will bring this up to one thirty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. This is our first debt that we are trying to pay down. Is my student loan? We are doing a kick butt job at it. It's not the word I want to use, but I will because we're here and I have to censor myself. But we are doing a fantastic job at paying down my student loan. So that's going there. Up next, um, I take. $5 of what I get from her and I put it towards our birthdays. We do $100 birthdays around here. And since there are six of us, $50 a month equals what we need. However, we do also have like cards or cake or something else like that. So that's where this extra little bit comes in from her. It helps take care of those little extras. So we have 110 in here. Yay! The car that she drives hence why she gives us car insurance, is also in my name. So because of that, we have to pay for tags on it. So five of this goes for her tag. Now there does, there is more in here than what we will need. Oh, I don't, do I have that around? I don't have that around me, that's okay. Um, the money that she gives for tags does end up being, pushing us over what we need for the year. So well, there was 80 in here, so that'll bring me up to 85. Um, so at a certain point, I will stop putting this in here and start to allocate it somewhere else. But until then, we put all of it in here. So 20, 40, 60, 85. This tells me that I have money in the bank working for me. Love money working. All right. And then we have, we put 25 of this into a savings challenge for Christmas. Yeah, that's in here. Nickel holiday yearly challenge. We are saving 2024 and 2024. So we'll add this 25 to the pile. Looks to me like we are in need of doing savings challenge day. I love savings challenge day. All right, let's put all of this back in here. And then we actually are going to move this to the side and pull this out. This last 25 goes towards my son's school binder. We try to make sure that he has plenty of money for lunch. We are in the process of trying to get this up to $80. I'm mean, up to $100. There is 80 in here. We'll add 10 more plus 10, which will bring us up to 90. Puts us in really good shape for back to school. So 10, or sorry, 50. Five, six, seven, eight, ninety dollars, and then the last fifteen, we are going to put five into orienteering. 
No, we're not. No, we're not. This is the only time when I really don't have a plan for stuff. We're going to put five into dances plus five, which will bring us up to $40 in here trying to prep for if he wants to do homecoming at the beginning of school. So 10, 20, 30, 35, $40. And then extra car insurance. Oh my gosh, he finally started driver's ed. Oh, it's about time. So we're going to put the last 10 into driver's ed. Yep. I'm sorry, not driver's ed. We're going to put 10 into car insurance to help prep for when he does start to drive. I've got a little bit of extra money. All right, which will bring us up to $54 in here. We're going to need to, <clears throat> excuse me, rework the budget soon so that I always have car insurance money for him. So 20, 40, 51, 2, 3, 54, which is what I said should be in here. All right, so let's come mark some of this off real quick in my little calendar. All right, now we're going to jump back to his senior year. We, I've come up with a handful of things for his senior year that we need to save money on. With that said, I put some ones to the side. Um, most of my paychecks, most of my husband's paychecks, just whenever we have some extra ones and stuff it towards his senior year. Now we are really going to have to start to ramp this up soon because he's junior. Oh my gosh, when school starts back, he's already in 11th grade. So I know that I'm going to need to really work on some of this. <clears throat> but in stuffing this, we, I have elected to kind of do it like the debt snowball where everybody gets a minimum payment. I call it savings snowball. And that minimum payment is a dollar right now. Uh, when I get more, then I'll put in more. I believe there are like 12 or 13 different categories that we are in the process of saving for. So as long as I have $12, everything gets its dollar. I don't count this until it makes it to the 10. Once it makes it to the 10, I'll update its little sheet. And when I get to the last, which is senior pictures, senior pictures gets all the cash that's left over. So there is currently, let's pull out senior pictures. There's currently $59 in here. Yay! We are going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to it. Score! Plus 15, 59, 14, 5, 6, 74 is what should be in here when I count it all out. And we definitely need to condense this. All right, 74, 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 74. And I will work on condensing some of those ones later. And I think I wanted 200 in here. I wanted 500 in here. I don't think I'll need all 500, but just working on building up for his senior pictures. All right. And then the last thing. Oh, silly me. I forgot to put something away. This is also my divider in his binder. <laughs> all right. And then the last thing I'm going to do is a new savings challenge that's probably going to join my low income savings challenge day. Um, this is a, uh, it's, it's supposed to be a yearly challenge where everyone is $5. I thought they were absolutely adorable and trying to find a way to uh, watch savings grow for something that we are saving for. We are per currently saving for our son's first car. In doing so, I thought that this would be a cute way to work on saving, I think it's $600, 50 times 12 is $600. So we are going to do this where I roll um, a little bit different than when I did when I do um, my July when I do my low income savings challenge so these are I'm going to pull six and I'm going to pull the back half of the year so six of these and hope that by December we have filled all six of these in. It'll be a way to that I know I have $300 saved for him. So one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. We'll swap those around. These will change every time, but I figured it would be a fun way. I also don't know if my marker is going to work on these, so if it doesn't, good thing I have one handy. So, all right, here we go. I have $50, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 dollars. All right, one, two, three. One, three. I kind of like this. So I am new to not specifically putting my money towards something. Um, it's really odd for me to do this, um, but I'm actually starting to really like it. Uh, it's fun to see who gets the most and who sometimes has to get left out. Um, one, I need a four. I need a four. <sighs> That's okay. So unfortunately, October didn't get any. That's all right, but everybody else did. All right, so December, see if my marker works. Let's see how well that worked. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work too well. That's all right. Oh, should we use color? Do I have colors? I do have colors. Let's use a red on everybody. All right, so December got five. Um, November, we'll get two check marks. One, two. Four October, nothing. I think September, oh, and July, both were the winners, so three. So one, two, three. And then August gets one. And July gets three. One, two, three. Love it, love it, love it. I think this is going to be a fun way to watch the savings grow for our child's first car. And again, I think this might end up joining the my low income savings challenge day since I already have all of this stuff out for it. If you have any questions or just want to say hey, I'd love if you drop it in chat below. I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.